I found out that a lot of my friends that I ran around with decided to choose gang violence as their path. And I even lost a few friends, you know, through uh, drive-by shootings over the summer. We're talking a whole different language, you know. I'm talking about toys and football, and they're talking about guns and putting on blue rags or red rags. Growing up in South Central Los Angeles with a single parent, uh, my mom's worked two jobs, and it was kind of hard to watch three boys and a daughter. So every summer she sent us to East Texas to be with our grandparents. At the time when you're a kid, you want to spend your summers with your friends. So not every summer I was happy about coming to East Texas. But once the summer was over and I got back to Los Angeles, I saw that right then and there that it was a blessing that I was in East Texas for the summer. I grew up in a negative environment where there was a lot of gun violence, a lot of prostitution, a lot of drug dealing. One particular night, um, it was right after a high school football game, we had won the game and we decided to go down to the Venice Beach to celebrate. And, you know, we're young and we're, we're drinking beers and it's just me and a few football players. On Venice Beach, there's a gang called the Venice Shoreline, Crips. After being out there for maybe an hour or so, we noticed a group of guys walking up the shoreline. Next thing you know, they got up on us and they immediately pulled out their guns. A, a voice told me to just talk for my life. Hey man, I got my Letterman jacket on. It's obviously I don't gang bang. What I was saying touched somebody else in their crew and he immediately came up to the front, removed the sawed off shotgun from my chest and told us to get off the beach now. That's when I knew that me coming to East Texas every summer definitely saved my life. Definitely. Now, you know, I have a wife, three beautiful daughters, and I know it's, I'm here for a reason. Since then, I've been doing a lot of work in corrections and residential treatment centers. One job in particular was uh, the Gregg County Juvenile Detention Center. They really don't encourage you to get that close to a kid because, you know, you, you get your feelings wrapped up in a child and you eventually get your heart broken because a lot of them, you just really feel sorry for them. They never stood a chance, you know, they just come from nothing. I chose to encourage them to go to school and, and, and play sports, you know, take sports, you know, take that negative energy out of your home and, and, and turn it into positive energy. You know, where's your mama? Uh, she's not around, she's on crack. Where's your daddy? I haven't ever met my daddy. You know, it, it didn't have to be sports, it could have been band or, or the debate team or all TC. Or, some kids I save, but like they say, you can't save them all. But then you have some that go on and go to school and play ball and get scholarships. You know, I have a couple of kids that did that. I still have family in Los Angeles, and they would love for me to move back to California with my daughters. But I've seen enough drama, violence, drug use, gang banging to last a lifetime. As parents, we're here to protect our kids, and I'm, I'm protecting my kids by not exposing them to that. I'm always striving for more out of life because I wasn't supposed to be here.